It's too hot. And someone tells you to turn around and go back down the mountain. <laughs> you just turn, yeah. <laughs>Hi guys and welcome to Fetier. So I've just left you on the bus from Bodrum to Fetier, and it was roughly about four and a half hours and um, we actually arrived earlier than expected <laughs> which is good. So um, yeah we've just arrived at our hostel from the bus station we had to get a bus to like five minutes and it cost us like six seven lira um, which is like 25p. Um, and yeah, we've just checked into Sakura and honestly, right, I've not been backpacking for six years yet, but this hostel is really, really nice. So it's just on the market strip, uh, which is really lovely. Um, I think we're quite close to the harbour, but I'll just give you a quick room tour. Um, so we're in a female dorm. So when you first walk in, you have the bathroom, which is humongous. Hello. We've got showers in here. And then also toilets. So there's two toilets and two showers. Some vanity space. And then moving into the main room, you've got these beds with curtains. You've got a big, a humongous locker which can fit my big backpack, my little backpack. Two plugs per bed and like a little um, shelving cabinet. We also have a balcony which has got places to hand laundry. It's the market that we are outside of. So as you can tell, it's like a really clean and nice hostel. So looking forward to spending a couple of days here. I've currently booked three nights um, and I'll put the price here of how much I paid, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll extend it or whether I'll just stay the three nights yet. I'm not sure as I kind of want to slow down a little bit. But yeah, really looking forward to getting out and exploring Fetier. So I think we're going to go grab some food now. Maybe walk down the harbour, having a look like what's around. And then, yeah, we'll probably make a plan of action for the next couple of days. So we're about to leave this place. <laughs> the menu is so big. If you can't find what you want on this menu, where the heck are you going to find it? Oh my lordy. even in the evening so when the sun's setting like all the mountains turn pink and it is just absolutely gorgeous we've been chased by <laughs> even more monkey dogs <laughs> um, and we've run away from said monkey dogs um, but we have then ended up spending hours <laughs> and hours in the boutique stores so the clothes here are amazing so they're all like really really nice boutique shops with like really like boho chic vibes and honestly i feel like i can i can feel my bank account draining just being here um i did buy this scarf so i have wanted to get a turkish scarf whilst we were here so i did just buy one a couple of days ago a blue one for 40 lira and uh, just in case i wanted to go to any mosques uh, but i was waiting for the right one and i found this one a little bit more expensive so it's 275 lira which is roughly about 12 pounds i think but i'll put that there um but it's absolutely gorgeous and now we're just getting ready making ourselves look a little bit more awake so i've put the tiniest bit of mascara on and we are going to head out and just grab a little bite to eat so far first impressions of this place at the TA. i absolutely love it here i think it's my favorite place so far Gorgeous girl. Good morning. So it is day two here in Fessier. So we've had a bit of a lazy morning. It's about quarter past 11 now and we've just woken up. But we are making our own breakfast. So we went to Carrefour yesterday and just bought some ingredients like some eggs, 
some peppers, some feta. Um, so yeah, we're just cooking up some scrambled eggs with pepper and some bread and we're gonna have a coffee, eat that. And then I think we're gonna head to Kayakoi, uh, which has got a ghost town. So we're gonna look through that, which looks pretty cool. And um, basically it's just an abandoned city. Tomorrow we're planning on going to Butterfly Valley and staying there overnight, which will be pretty awesome. Not bad food for breakfast. It's too hot. It's like 38 degrees here. I'm from England. The hottest we get is like 22, and that's a heat wave. <laughs> Last night we went for a really, really lovely dinner in this gorgeous Loch and Tassie. The food was amazing, so we had fish and a vegetable casserole. And honestly, it was so, so nice. It's quite cheap as well. I'll put the prices here of how much it was. We're all ready. I've got my shirt on uh, because it is so, so hot here. We're going to head to the ghost town. Don't really know what to expect. I'll probably give you a bit more information when we get there. But yeah, we're going to head there now. arrived at Karakoi. So we just got a bus from the city centre of Fetier, um, just outside of Moscow. I'll put a map here and where you can get the bus. The bus cost me 30... 80 lira, which is, again, less than a pound. It took us maybe 20, 25 minutes to get here, and you go through all these mountains, and it's really, really beautiful, like these forests, it's, it's really, really nice. And then it drops you off in the village of Karakoi, and about five minutes walk, um, you get to the old ancient city. So um, I believe that this place used to be called Lavasi, um, and it was inhabited by Greeks. So um, this place was built in the 18th century, and then in World War I, the whole of the Greek population was depopulized and this place became abandoned. And um, it's incredible because there's just, it's like a whole city. There's not one or two abandoned buildings, it's a whole city. And it just over, overlooks this gorgeous mountainous area. And it's just quite incredible really um, that, you know, it was so recent, yet these buildings look like they've been gone for a long time. So we're just gonna explore now. Uh, like I said, we've only just got here. It costs us 15 lira to enter, and you can come between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Um, but apart from that, you can't come here, you can't come here in the evening. So I'd highly recommend coming. It's pretty cool. This is the kind of stuff that I love doing when I'm traveling. Um, so yeah, we'll show you around a little bit. Just try a hoe again. <laughs> Thank you. Desikule. So we've just been walking up and uh, we've met a local and um, he was saying that him and his family come here and they pick all the oregano and they make essential oils. Um, he said that it was uh, useful for the cough, uh, the cold. Um, which is perfect for June right currently. now. Yeah, <laughs> she got a bit of a cold. Um, but yeah, oh my god, it smells amazing. Oh my god. So yeah, pick some up if you walk past, it looks like this. And we're gonna take it home, and apparently you can put it in your tea, and it makes you feel better. So we're gonna try that later. <laughs> so, do you know about cactus fruits? No. No, this are the cactus fruits, so they are not ready yet. They are, all, they are green, but in a few time from now, they're gonna be like, you know, red, yellowish, um, a bit green, but then like fairy green. And then you will just pick it up. Uh, not with your hands, look at this, avoid to touch them. Um, very, very uh, helpful if it happens. You 
take like a, with a with something, you take them, then you use a brush, you remove all those uh, how we call them spikes, the, all those spikes, and then you will cut them when they are ready. You cut them, you open them, and then you can eat it. It's super good, super sweet and juicy. And uh, yeah. And you have it in Algeria as well. So this is how I know about this. It's because I come from Algeria, and we have this. And I used when I was a child, um, going with my cousin to take them. Actually, not with my hands there, <laughs> but, um, but to, to collect them, yes. Obviously, we don't have anything like this in England. It's definitely not hot enough for a cactus. Um, so I've never seen anything like this before. And we just walked over and then Drew started telling me about the fact that she used to eat them as a child. And I just think that's so cool. It's just amazing to learn about another culture. We were just walking around and um, we turned around basically just because, I mean, I'm not from Turkey, but basically there was this Turkish couple and they basically said that something was happening. There was people screaming at the top of the mountain, obviously. We have no idea what they were saying. We're not Turkish. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, they spooked us a little bit. So we came back down. I mean, it's a ghost town. If it's not spooky enough already, <laughs> when someone tells you to turn around and go back down the mountain. You just turn, you just turn yeah, <laughs> just you don't turn. question it, you just turn. So um, we found another route. So we, we went and explored, which was away from the mountain. Uh, but like we wanted to explore some of the other stuff that was further up the mountain. So we thought we'll come for lunch. We can't hear the people screaming anymore, so potentially we can go back up. Um, so we're just going to have lunch and then we'll see how we feel afterwards. But it's so beautiful, like the views are spectacular, like the buildings are amazing as well. Like the fact that they're still there, there's a lot of flies, <laughs> a lot of flies. Um, but yeah, this spot as well where we've come for lunch is really, really nice. It's like this, like cushions and yeah, it's quite like boho chic. It's, um, it's nice, so we've ordered um, Galzem, Goslam. I could really be butchering that, I'm I sorry. I can't help. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I can't help. Pancakes. Turkish pancakes. Turkish pancakes. Um, and basically it's filled with spinach and cheese. And then we've also ordered a potato salad and a mixed salad. We just wanted something a bit lighter because we had, lunch, uh, we had dinner quite late yesterday, like 9, 9.30. In fact, I think it was late than that, maybe like even, 10. Even later, <laughs> yeah. even 10, actually. Yeah. Um, and we're going to Butterfly Valley tomorrow, so we want to make sure that we've got all the energy and that we're feeling good. So tonight we're going to get an early dinner, I think, um, after potentially seeing the sunset somewhere. So yeah, I'm excited to try the food. So we've come to the bus stop. Um, we don't really know how long the bus is going to take. <laughs> we could be here for five minutes. We could be here for an hour. I think the bus is there every hour. Um, and on the way here, we were waiting for half an hour, would you say, half an hour? Yeah. On the way here? Yeah. So we, we could be here for, <coughs> we could be here till tomorrow at this rate. God knows. So <laughs> I'll tell you how long we actually are waiting. So we've got some geese and they've caused a traffic jam. We've got cars on this road, I've got cars here. We've got men trying to move well, the geese. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the <laughs> Goose jam. We just got the bus back to Fetty Town Centre. Can't lie, I fell asleep. I'm a bit out of it. She's gonna take me to get some food because I'm clearly not awake. And then yeah, I think chill the evening is in order so that we are awake and alert and enthusiastic for Butterfly Valley tomorrow. <laughs> so we just picked up a few bits and bobs to eat for dinner from the shop. Hi, it's editing Vicky here and I've just been editing the Fetier vlogs and it was over an hour long so I've decided to cut it into three episodes. So this is the end of episode one. Do like and subscribe and leave me a comment and I will see you in the next one which will be part two of three of the Fetier series.